Hello everyone, welcome back here to the, uh, the channel, welcome back to the video. My name's Scott and I'd like to work uh, a little bit today on uh, adjectives. I've done adjectives in the past with the ED and ING endings like interested and interesting. Uh, today I'd like to work on um, uh, adjective order. Yes, adjectives have an order. They cannot go in there randomly. I just have one, you don't have to worry, there's no order. But if you're using two or three, there is a certain order that needs to be followed. Let me give you an example first. So a very simple sentence, um, the building next door. It's a big new building, okay? Size, it's big, it's new, it opened up last year. It's a building, it's a big new building. Now, if I say it's a new big building, and now uh, understanding wise, it's not a problem. You can understand it's big and it's new. But actually, if I say it's a new big building, it's incorrect because Adjectives have an order. So it's a big new building would be fine. It's a new big building, unfortunately, would not be correct. Now, uh, Japanese language, uh, the adjectives are not so strict on their order, but apparently in other, well, English is and apparently French is as well. So you have to be careful on putting those adjectives in front of the noun. So it's a big new building. I'll get to the uh, more detailed part on, on the adjectives uh, how they would fit in there. Um, let me give you one more example first though. So, um, I just bought an Italian leather bag. Okay, I just bought an Italian leather bag. Actually, I wanted to put the color in there, but I forgot to put the color in. So, I bought a black Italian leather bag. Okay, black Italian leather bag. That's fine, that order there. But if I were to say I bought a leather black Italian bag, the order is off there and it would not be correct English on the adjective order. Okay, let me give it to you simply enough how it's gonna work. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna put size first and after that, the age of something, then the color, and then the uh, place of origin, and then finally the material. Just a basic one here, okay? So size, uh, age, color, place of origin, and then the material. So as I said, big new building, well big is the size and new would be the age and the building is the noun. And the black for color, Italian, the place of origin, and leather, the material um, bag in that regard. So as you see, I follow the correct um, adjective order there. So you wanna put it that way. So first, the size. Now, if you have a size and a shape, usually the size will come first. So if it's big, round, big, round table, it would work that way. Not round, big table. Big, round table for the shape. So size first and shape second. So uh, number one, the size. Number two, the age. Number three would be the color. Number four would be the place of origin. Italian, I said, or American, or Chinese, the place of origin, uh, or if it's somewhere in Japan, Okinawan, or from Hokkaido. And lastly would be the material, like leather, or wood, or plastic, and we'll work it that way. Just remember the pattern and try to do it the same way. Now, if you have just two adjectives, it doesn't, probably it's not gonna be too difficult, um, size, color, um, place of origin, and then the, uh, the material. If you have three adjectives, you may have to think a little bit more, like I did with the black, Italian, a leather bag. Keep it that way, okay? So we wanna say a big new building, and we wanna say a black, Italian, leather bag to keep those adjectives in the right order, everybody. Okay, that's the important thing. Try to think about that when you are describing something with two or more adjectives. All right, everyone, thanks for watching here, and we'll be back again soon. Until then, everybody, have a great day.